You that don't know who I am, I've been, I'm Reed Florine. I've been marketing online since 1999. I was a 13-year-old when I started making money online. 35 now, and uh, I've traveled all over the world uh, sharing what I've learned about online marketing and helping thousands of entrepreneurs make money online. And uh, now one of my favorite things to do is to play around with Jarvis and teach people how to use it. So that's uh, kind of me in a nutshell. Well, uh, Shane, why don't you tell us a little bit about your book and, and what you uh, want to do here? Yeah, sure. Um, well, I guess I'll start with my big why. <clears throat> Mine uh, is my number one value is empathy, especially for the human condition, the human struggle, especially for entrepreneurs. I've uh, been a lifelong uh entrepreneur. I, I did work in the corporate world for a number of years, but I was always in a very entrepreneurial capacity, business development, sales, that kind of stuff. And I have lost a couple of businesses, one that uh, was a couple of million dollars because of fraud. And so I have this deep empathy for the struggle of the entrepreneur. I was always a hustle and grinder, like working 16, 18 hour days, you know, like the perfectionist kind of thing. And I figured out after losing a couple of businesses and getting sick, and feeling stressed out that there was a different way of doing things, an easier way. So my sure. book is about how to ease into that. Like, how do you figure out how to, you know, do the right things with that video, but not work your ass off 16 hours a day. And so uh, the, the whole concept of using Jarvis and AI, I started utilizing that in my business uh, two or three months ago, whenever it was that I got Jarvis. And I started writing video scripts for some of my clients. And it was just so much easier. And the results came better. And so I'm kind of using that concept of creating demand by helping people out by you, by creating these videos with an AI script writer to help you and then uh, pixeling them to retarget them for offers. Definitely. It sounds like uh, it's aimed at people that have been following the, the Gary V or Grant Cardone model of work, 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 work. And they're looking for a change. They're looking to get more done in less time live a lifestyle where their business is running for them instead of them running like a hamster wheel inside their business. Right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just grab this and, and put it into the uh, long form assistant inside conversion AI, because that's going to be the easiest. So write a book called also without the grind and I'll grab your subtitle too. It's amazing you're doing this because you know what I like. It seems like it should be obvious. I've never done that, taken that title and subtitle and put it in the long form. Well, we'll see what it does. So, um, try that one and then we'll generate some ideas. Do you like any of those? I'm just taking a quick look here. I think the third one probably is the best. That, that was the one I liked the most too. Yeah. So good choice. <laughs> um, now I know you have some other stuff in here. You have um, put it there. Okay. I'm gonna copy that, and we'll put that in there. I'm gonna get rid of the attention, interest, desire, action. Yeah aspect because I don't think we'll need that. So we'll kind of pretend that's our intro for mm -hmm. the book kind of thing. And I'm going to go on the next line here. Now I could have it compose either medium or long. I'm going to try long. I know medium is usually better, but let's just kind of see what it comes up with for, for long. Just a quick note, the ADA framework, AIDA framework is also in Jarvis as well for anyone who hasn't seen that yet. Why, why do you say the medium is usually better than the long? Uh, it seems like it's it's better outputs oh, yeah. for, for what I've seen. Just um, stretching too much when it has to go with the longer? It, it seems to be, I know they're working on it. Um, I, I like to use the long because I like to see where it goes uh, mm -hmm. with things, but medium does tend to be the preferred okay. for what I see. So um, 
like that kind of uh, did a little bit more of what was um, up above. Mm -hmm. I feel so. I'm gonna just get rid of that because I don't think it's knowledge database, but it's probably not really specific to my method. Correct. So let's go into power mode, and this is where you can access all the uh, different frameworks inside Conversion AI. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, like the ADA and, and problem agitate solution, we could have accessed uh, this way as well. Mm -hmm. So we could try sentence expander and let's try just out of curiosity. You don't need British. So let's just pretend that's you know one you liked. Mm -hmm. Now I could compose and that could continue writing. So that's one way to do it. If you're kind of stuck and you don't know where you want the next sentence to go, you could start writing the sentence and then you could use sentence expander and it can really um, you know, go to the next area with it. Or you can just use the compose button uh, with it. If you don't like the output, there's this new um, kind of redo oh, okay. option. So it's it'll redo. Right. So let's pretend we don't like that one. I can redo again. So we'll just pretend that you like that. Um, for example here, and like for instance, how not to get burned out in your business. So let's compose that. See here, it kind of continued that thought a little bit. You know, another way to do it, you know, we could take it, we could even do, you know, a story with it. So we could paste that in there. It's gonna come up with 10 different options for a story. And so I could paste that in there and this will turn that ADA framework into a story, which may be more compelling, especially in the beginning of a book to get people I to, like that. Um, you know, buy it. You know, let's pretend that you like this uh, element. You could take that in there and you could put that and have it continue uh, with the creative story, or you could have it go and do like sentence expander and, and take, take that and go, um, you know, kind of like the end of that sense and, and just grab the end of that sense or you could um you know put in in here and what have it so it doesn't look at anything above this and let's see if it continues to talk a little bit more about brenda here there we go so that's one way to kind of go in and out and and change things around um, you know, real quick. Yeah, I like that. Yes. Great. So um, the working title of my book is The Awesome Leader Framework um, with a subtitle of Unlocking the Art, Science, and Common Sense of Leadership Without Ever Being a Boss Hole. Now I'll tell you, Jarvis doesn't like boss hole. They think it's a little salty language. So I've been doing bad boss because I was thinking I was just going to find and replace later in yeah. the manuscript. Uh, what else do we have there? Keywords. I don't know. I, I was leadership skills is one I've been playing with, but I don't know if it's needed. Go ahead. And then tone. Oh, we don't need tone yet. So I came up with yep. those two. From one of your videos, Reed, on how to figure out your tone. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> That's a fun tool. Yes. Uh, we'll see if it comes up with anything here. So this one's kind of similar to what yeah. um, you had before. So I'll do that and we'll generate ideas. Yeah, the bottom one probably is what I would go for. I, I tend to go for that bottom one uh, every time myself, too. So I don't know why that one's always the best, but it just seems to be. Uh, let's, I'm going to try just awesome, authentic, work, speak, embrace. So we need an O. So let's just pretend, um, you know, that that was part of your outline. Let's go into power mode and let's try the sentence expander again because that may give us some stuff. Awesome leaders. I'm just going to do awesome leaders. Let's just pretend yep. that we like that one. I'm actually going to hit control Z just to see. Nope, it won't do it. Okay. I was hopeful. So I guess um make sure you control a and control c whenever you go in and out um because there seems to be a bug right now uh so what i'm going to do i'm going to exit that just for now and we'll compose and see if that continues on 
do you all like everyone who's written a book um do you all write in jarvis entirely in that long form editor and then, or do you move it out into other documents and move chapters out or is it all done in there yeah i was just reading a sherman's um, comment about copying pasting into an external doc um that's that's generally how i'll work with it i'll i'll kind of do like a section or a paragraph in here and kind of work through the ideas, but then I just get it out into another doc. Give me a transcript. So I've taken the yep. transcript, but it's quite long, obviously, and lots of ums and, you know, so I need to really condense it down. And I was thinking initially that I might use something like, um, you know, that website TLDR, mm -hmm. whatever it is, too long, didn't read, but it doesn't like transcripts. So this is an app called uh, WordTune. And they have uh, a thing where it will condense either PDFs or links. And so I just put in uh, a link here. I'm going to hit start. What it's going to do is it's going to read that uh, document. And you could do this with a transcript even. Oh, yeah. And it's going to pull out what it thinks is interesting and kind of write it in its own way. So okay. you could like copy that all or you could export it. And you could do that in sections. And that, that's one way to um, you know, quickly summarize a uh, very lengthy document. Another thing that you could do, so I'm going to paste this in text summarizer. Um, this lets you do up to 600 characters, so it'll probably give us a short sentence. It's usually what it does, but that is one way to, to summarize uh, bits and pieces of hmm. something. Another thing is, uh, another thing you could do is let's say that there's elements of your transcript <clears throat> that you want to improve and make it a little bit more interesting. Hmm. I would highlight it. And then I would use like to explain it to a fifth grader or fix grammar or rephrase. And sometimes I will uh, use them in conjunction. So like okay. I just changed that one and then I could highlight again. And let's say that I want to rephrase that. <clears throat> and so there's going to change the phrasing of it. You know, uh, let's say you're, you're talking like I just said, um, uh, a second ago, mm -hmm. it will, it could fix that with the fixed grammar. I think you just solved my biggest problem right there. Awesome.